Hey fragrance enthusiasts and lovers, welcome back to the Scentitar Fragrance channel. I enjoy you stopping by, thank you so much. And today we got a big topic and a big discussion. Strap in, grab some popcorn, and sit on down with me, and let's talk about this big discussion. Now, first off, I want to say that this is not me just saying this is what needs to happen in the fragrance community. I'm not sitting here making demands and uh, pointing fingers, so this is not targeted towards anybody at all. This is actually advice that I need to take and uh, kind of is a big wake-up call for me, wake up call for me and something that I need to apply to my channel. So, as the fra I look at the fragrance community, and I sincerely care about everybody in the fragrance community... Uh, some I have differences with, but I do care about everyone, and I wish everybody the best. I keep noticing that so many seem unhappy or unsatisfied or maybe seem confused. Now, it's not, nothing's wrong with just having a channel to simply share your hobby, and some people just want to share the bottles of fragrances they own and take this very casually in, uh, in regards to fragrance reviewing. And nothing's wrong with that. Be, be happy doing what you're doing. And uh, a lot of people come in and out. Some people just share a few fragrances from their collection. And they kind of stop doing the YouTube gig. For some people like me, we want to make this a big deal. We want to become a YouTuber. Or maybe even step into a career field regarding fragrance. Uh, for people who are just watching, you know, looking into the hourglass or looking through the, uh, you know, through the glass at us... It can might seem strange, and this is often a, a topic of debate, and I'm not really going to get into that debate, but this is just a discussion video on what needs to change in order for the fragrance community as a whole to grow and really gain some real notoriety. If you compare the fragrance community to, let's say, the music industry or any big industry, the video game industry, uh, the makeup industry, or any big industry in general, especially on YouTube, we are very small. And there's a reason for that. It's because we do not have personalities in the YouTube fragrance world. It's a problem. Um, I put my own personality out there. I need to do more of it, and I hope that you connect with me, and I hope that you, uh, you know, can feel like I'm a friend and uh, see who I am and uh, like like what you're hearing, like what you're seeing. But the truth of the matter is we have very few people who have been able to reach any type of stardom with their personality. I truly love sharing information, and I love education, ed educating uh, people, and I do love education in general. So I have made my channel in the past especially very sterile and very to the point. What we as a fragrance community need to do is not only uh, share information, help educate, help people to find fragrances that they love, uh, you know, share some experience that we have, share what we know, share what this fragrance actually smells like. But we actually have to have a personality, make things a little bit more fun. The Fragrance Apprentice is doing a wonderful job. There are some people here and there, and Jeremy Fragrance has done it. Love, love him or hate him. Jeremy Fragrance has a personality, and he's put it out in a big way, and it has drawn people to him. Some people love him, some people hate him, and that's just a part of the game. I'm not going to get into uh, criticizing or getting into the details with Jeremy. I have some differences, but overall, he does you know, help people, and he does help br bring people into the fragrance world and the fragrance game. What we need in the fragrance community, and I'm not saying we need more people like Jeremy Fragrance, I'm saying that we need more people who, you know, are magnetic, more people with charisma, more people with a big personality who are willing to, you know, be funny, be entertaining, uh, maybe make, be a little bit more bold um, in their views. I feel like a lot of fragrance enthusiasts are starting to feel like the only way that they can grow, the only way that a fragrance YouTuber can grow or great, reach any success is to play around with top 10 lists. There's no denying that uh, I don't know if it's just because of the YouTube algorithm or I don't know if it's just because uh, mostly uh, people really prefer top 10 list or if it's both. Both if there's a, a YouTube algorithm uh, preferences or uh, favoritism or if there really is, you know, both of that going on with people actually loving top 10 list. There's no debating that uh, that works, but there's a lot more that you could do if you want to become successful than just do top 10 list. That is a formula or a way to get more views, but it's not going to have people actually truly invested in you and truly care about you. You have to be authentic and you have to put your personality out there in a big way. And I hope that 
as fragrance YouTubers and personalities that you grow and that you improve as a person and that you're able to have your own style. Um, and I certainly hope that mine, mine come across. I, if you watch any of my older videos, I, I <laughs> was a very much a laid back person. I've been taught, you know, in my life to not really express myself, to not really put my personality out there. And I've, taught, I've been taught to uh, really live it myself, uh, to the environment and to the people around me. Now that I've taken a lot more freedom and I've been a lot more bold in developing myself as a person, you can really notice that and you can really notice who I am. So I hope that, that, I hope that you enjoy that. And I hope that people in the fragrance community, if you feel like you need to do this, that you you know you do so again i'm not saying that every fragrance reviewer even wants to become a full-time reviewer or wants to be a youtuber in any way just in general but i think that we seriously need to sit down if you're wanting to become a youtuber i see so many people who maybe throw shade at me maybe they complain maybe they think i have too many subs or maybe they think i'm too big for my own good and I am still quite a small fragrance reviewer, in my opinion, even in the fragrance community. In the world of YouTube, you're quite a nobody, or you're quite small unless you have at least 100,000 or even 250,000 subs. You're quite small. So um, I feel like I'm quite small, and I would like to, of course, grow. But uh, I'm not saying that my ambition is to become the biggest YouTuber. My ambition is to help people find fragrances that they love. And I hope that people can connect with that message and get behind me because, of course, a lot of other fragrance reviewers share fragrances. A lot of other fragrances, uh, fragrance reviewers are sharing fragrances. And you could argue that you, they are also helping people, you know, find fragrances that they love. But I review fragrances and I talk, you know, go over fragrances and I'm willing to cover indie and a lot of other fragrances that maybe other reviewers aren't willing to do. And I, and I try to help, you know, you find those fragrances and explore them and understand those fragrances instead of me just putting my opinion out there on the fragrance. I can sit there and I can say that a fragrance is good or bad to my nose and my personal opinion, but it might not help you very much to understand the fragrance unless you just want to base your buying habits on my opinion and what I think. And that kind of gets into kind of what being a frag YouTube fragrance reviewer, just a fragrance reviewer is in general. I am not trying to create a tribe, but there certainly are people who, as you grow bigger, or as any YouTuber grows bigger, there'll be people who become fans. There'll be people who will become uh, loyal people who will love you and care about you, uh, kind of no matter what you do. And that's not really the thing I'm trying to foster. Of course, I love people who love my content, but what I'm interested in is helping people and I think that you know if you are encouraging people just to buy things or just to uh, be interested in fragrances because you just say it's good or not good I think that you're not really helping people to understand fragrance and not everybody wants to get deep into fragrance <clears throat> there are many people who just want to smell good and want to have five six seven eight nine ten bottles and don't want to get deep into this hobby and don't want to find anything outside of mass appealing designer fragrances and nothing's wrong with that but it's a whole different issue if you just sit there as a as a on on the screen on youtube and you just say this is good this is not good and uh, maybe you don't in include you know any of the notes and the notes aren't everything but you don't get in descriptive and you don't talk about who this fragrance would work for you don't talk about what the fragrance the style of the fragrance is um really the the feel of it maybe the history if you want to get into any of the history or the art <laughs> and you don't categorize the fragrance at, you know at all i don't know if you i don't know if you're helping people and so if you're going to want if you want to grow if you feel like you're not growing as a fragrance reviewer you're going to want to find those pain points you're going to want to find the the issues and the things that matter to people there's a number of topics and issues and uh, creative things that I've done that other people are bigger reviewers even are starting to copy like the compliment factor and um I, that's certainly something that people care about. So find something that pe people care about, things that people actually want, and give it to them. If you give people what they want, you'll grow and you'll succeed. 
So I hope that you enjoyed my video today. I hope that it made sense. I hope that it was near and dear from the heart and that it made sense to you. If you liked my content, if you liked this video today, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video, and tell a friend. I'll see you next time, everybody. I wish you the very best. Wear what you love and rock what you got. And have a fantastic day, my friends. And bye.